all right boys so this is like the third time i want to record this video because every single time i talk about this topic i stray away and just made this like video 20 or 30 minutes so we're gonna try to narrow it down a little bit so we're gonna talk about linari how i earn it and of course we're gonna talk about it how you are able to earn it as well a lot of this kind of depends on the first six realms of your game time. And yes, it does depend a lot on your beginning. The thing is, I never said I was free to play. As you can see, I'm Valor 13. And this is with the free to play Valor as well. So what I do is I usually spend a little bit money in the game to give me somewhat a boost. And then I, of course, turn that boost into winning events. And then I turn winning events into winning more events. So if you understand it by that, uh, like 95% of the events in the first three months, I was rank one. Now, in the next three months after the first merge, I was also rank one in majority of them. The only events I wasn't ranking well which were the resource ones because i didn't have a ton of chests even if i was winning every single event people were saving like two to three thousand boxes and i could not compete so these are the only events where i didn't rank uh, rank one so by that you can pretty much imagine how much linari i was generating I wasn't making videos of every single event every single time because I had tricks that I didn't want people to know. All of those people in the realm, they all knew my YouTube channel. And if I did videos on all of these events in the early game, pretty much I would not be able to win them. And that's why quite a lot of the videos didn't actually contain tips for the events until, of course, I reached a place where it would not matter if they knew this or not so what did i do and uh well the thing is when it comes to events and uh, linari and of course um winning and stuff like that quite a lot of people do something that i have released in a video where i said uh, or had a title things that they don't want you to know so you can be invited to a specific group you are going to enjoy being in a group likely I'm, I'm not lying like a lot of groups are actually fun they're competitive they're cooperative they have like discord channels they're friendly helpful all that kind of stuff like they're only benefits right and no there are a lot of downsides into being in a group as well the downsides come from earning Linari so for example I am rank one by a mile I get a ton of Linari from being in a weaker kingdom and if I would be rank six do you see the difference in the Linari right now now this is not the only event of course so if you're in a say um, a different uh, realm in, in a stronger realm you're not going to rank in any of these events if you join a particular group and if you don't and you're still in a pretty active kingdom you're kind of losing out and not only in those events you're losing out in the kingdom ranking or rather the kingdom where you get linari you get these boxes as well every single one of these boxes gives a rune stone plus zero now it doesn't sound that much but four times per month 15 months turns to like um, too much math I think like what 600 of these boxes I think Linari would be like 36,000 too much math uh, I mean if I made a mistake you can let me know down in the comments below that's not it of course you have Emperor as well I was an Emperor majority of the time but they were giving me the King's boxes so I always like got majority of this Linari not always but majority of the time like more than half of the time uh, if of course our friends actually won the Imperium so I have an account where in the first six months I was winning most of the events I put in a ton of effort and that effort was in terms of events like Dark Dimension 
I not only ranked first in it, I farmed two to three thousand boxes, those mini boxes. Two to three thousand. Do you imagine how many hours every single event I put in, like in these events, in the other timed events, in Golem Invasion to get incredible amount of boxes? Now you would think, why would you actually get them? In, in this event, in events like these, those mini boxes grant you rush. This particular rush, right? And in the early game, if you rush your castle, the higher the castle level, the higher the tier the troops, the easier the events become. And most events still kind of require archers, so if you get the next tier of archers faster or similar level as another person, you can actually beat those people pretty easy. And that is the sort of stuff I had done, that is the sort of efficiency I had, it was extreme was extreme to the level that I was having fun grinding that. It, it's probably hard to understand. Like, I was having fun. I was back in UK, and I was working like 12 hours a friggin' day, so I was grinding during my break times. I was grinding at home uh, before sleep. I was grinding on the bus to work as well. Like, it was just, you know, my, I suppose, escape from reality when I was working a pretty rough job. Now I, I'm just, uh, no, I'm, I don't farm anymore because I would burn out and likely quit the game. But that is what my first six months looked like. So if you're not in to put in the effort and then you don't win and then people scream like pay to win, all that kind of stuff, pretty much, you know, you have the ability to grind, but if you don't grind and you don't get stuff, you don't snowball stuff, even this like is a window of opportunity for a lot of people again it costs time in most games especially war games you either put money or you put time even in mmorpgs you put money or you put time and if you don't put any of these the game is not going to give you free shit for you to beat the rank 1 people. You have to understand that. You have to put one or the other. And the thing is, since I put in so much, I got so much, and even on the Drake merge, like, I was rank 24 to 27, so I, I got, like, hundreds of thousands of Lenari, and I was still ranked so friggin' low, and it was impossible to win anything. So, three months passed, I got almost nothing, just like participating in Linari or whatever, and then he went to side. And I was still probably ranked 9, 8 maybe, in, in, in the realm, maybe rank 6, um, with majority of the people still leaving when I was like rank 29 or whatever. But a lot of people who play those events actually left, and I was able to rank 1 to rank 3. And that is where my farm started. I was gaining like 40 to 50,000 Lunari per month. And after the first time they came back, I went from, uh, I think, rank 29 to rank 24 or 23. And the next time they came back, I went from 24 or 23 to like 16 or 17. The last time they came back, I went from 16, 17 or so to rank 11 or 12, I think. And the majority of the people with the main group being in this realm, I can beat in PvP. Do you see how much grind I have done in this account? And no, this is not pay to win. No, I did not swipe thousands of bucks to be able to do that. I did spend money, yes, in the beginning. I do purchase the um, subscriptions now, but I didn't spend like almost, I think, any money the last six, seven, eight months. I think there are maybe a pack that I bought, maybe on and off on the subscriptions, but I don't think I spend a ton of money on this particular, um, say, account. I don't think I spend over 50 or 100 bucks the past, like, seven or eight months or so and and that's 
30 bucks probably just because of palace because i bought it for the border which i'm not even using and of course i wanted to try it out for a, a youtube video but yeah that is like the kind of stuff that you had to do and people say that yeah it was pretty much luck you didn't put any effort and no i put in a ton of effort i put in more effort than you would probably pick 10 people together and then combine their effort i grinded so freaking much that you would probably deem i'm crazy but that is how i play the games i don't go like hey this guy spent more money than me he's a whale you know screw him i don't want to play with him just give me a free to play server no when i mean efficient when i mean gaming when i mean having fun beating like pay to win or whales or so i am one of those people that put in time and effort to grow the account and that is why seeing paywalls in this game is excruciating painful for me because I'm not able to get them while putting that time. The other stuff, even if it takes months, it's fine, but the paywall is the most excruciating thing for those who put in the time and effort. And that is again why I kind of am being affected by that. Now, there is another thing. So, uh, quite a few people also assume that I'm being funded by Lilith because uh, they're sending me Linari. No, quite a lot of YouTubers, they will not go through the system messages. They will not go through personal. They will not go through any of these channels because they will think that you will find the mails with the Linari that they're getting. Now, if I was getting Linari for the content creator program, you could pretty much change this VIP 13 to VIP 15 uh, along like maybe half of my playtime. And that is pretty much likely how much Linari those people were getting. I'm not sure on the amount most of the people were getting because I know one or two of them were spending money, but from watching some videos and then jumping from one video to another to another to another without any you know decent packs being in the game you kind of seen some people just go like 20 30 40 thousand lunari per week so you know it's just it's a little bit weird you know but I mean, I mean, I, I don't know. Uh, I'm not pointing fingers, but if I got that Linari, you probably, you know, could assume that I would be like 20 million core. So again, I don't know how much they're getting. Maybe, maybe they were spending money left, right, and center on the most useless friggin' thing ever. But I mean, I wouldn't point fingers and call those, you know, content creators completely, you know, stupid for just throwing thousands of bucks left, right for useless packs. But I mean, if that happened, then I, I, I mean, I have no hope for this human race. That's the only thing I'm going to say. But I, I really doubt that was the case in, in, in that case, like really. I, I really doubt that that was the case uh, because otherwise uh, we also or rather I also checked that he wasn't really uh, growing in terms of the account strength like for example if you're putting in hundreds of bucks right now let me just point it out if you're putting up hundreds of bucks every single thing has like a lot of shit that you can just upgrade with a hundred bucks is a ton of stuff like if you would spend a hundred bucks, you get like these packs, you get a lot of shit here. Uh, you get like 10,000 Lunari, of course, you get more rushes, uh, more resources. Then, of course, you go Lantern Festival, you get even more shit from here. Like these things were not noticeable. It was just noticeable Lunari increase. And that is why I kind of said it. But yeah, that's, I suppose, pretty much it. If people mention this is all luck, this is, like this is no effort. That sort of thing kind of really irritates me and it irritates me a lot because it just nullifies all the frigging grind, all the frigging effort I have done 
to reach to this friggin' spot. And you're just friggin' crazy. And no, I'm not like all the other YouTubers or so who are friggin' VIP 15 already. No, I'm one of those that are actually putting in time for events, for PvP, even testing stuff, and even figuring some new stuff out. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you learned something new. And if you did, do hit that subscribe button. It would help me out a lot. So as if you wish to support me more than just watching my videos, I have made a Patreon page where you would be able to do just that. And in return, I would be able to help you out more individually in terms of events, PvP formations, and stuff like that. So as I would wish to thank all of my patrons for the support, I really, really appreciate it for your subscription. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for watching, take care, and stay safe out there.